it's noon. Time to make some food. Hey, you guys. This is Jesse over at Decker Truck Line. And we're cooking this week. I'm trying to find a pocket. There we go. We are cooking. So yesterday, if you were on our, our Facebook channel, you saw that we made a chicken taco for our crock pot meal. Delicious. Yeah, I was going to take some pictures of us eating it. It was pretty messy, though. Um, so definitely that warning we were talking about, do not eat while driving, um, most definitely applied. So if you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Uh, maybe even in the comment section, let me know that you can hear me so that I can um, just, just to be sure. So, um, and then if you can't, start yelling at me. Let me know so that I can fix it. Okie dokie. I can hear you. Yay. Hey, you guys. So glad. Okay. So we're cooking. Um, I didn't tell anybody what we were making yet, so I should probably share that. Speaking of sharing, let's share with our friends here. A uh, little Facebook, maybe? Facebook, Instagram. Everybody wants to hang with the cool crowd, right? By the way, we're the cool crowd today. You just don't know it. You'll find that out. <laughs> Uh, I'm so funny. Um, four, so we are making my take on beef broccoli crock pot deliciousness. <laughs> and that's a word. So yummy. So it's not just broccoli because I got the frozen, this is my kind of, kind of a recipe, not going by it at all, but that's okay. We'll have fun. Okay, so my take on the beef broccoli. Did I get all my goodies? So uh, it's kind of like a stir fry, kind of not. Um, I didn't even bring everything, so let me grab it. Oh, I keep forgetting I'm attached. Hold tight. Just thought about something here. Don't worry, I have all this stuff. Just didn't get it out. Okay, okay. All right, so we're good. Um, let's start with our meat. Start cutting that sucker up. I'm a messy cook. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's why I don't like to clean it, but it's all good. Napkins are my friend. We hunt, so the meat that I use is all, you guys even see me. Look at, I'm messing with my camera and it's going off. There we go, that's what I get. Start, my bacon is throwing off all my camera. <laughs> and my crock pot liners, that's right. Thank goodness Anna takes care of me. I forget to uh, get everything lined up. So um, yeah, so we hunt. And so the meat I am using is actually deer meat because um, I have not successfully shot an elk yet. Well, it's not elk season yet, but um, yeah, it's deer from last year. Woohoo! These things are amazing. Slow cooker. Every driver should have them if you're using a slow. I think everybody should use them. You know, Shark Tank has these amazing inventions. I don't know when they invented slow cook, slow cooker liners, but I think they're the smartest people on earth. Because I hate, hate, hate scrubbing liners. Oh look, I think I got a coupon. Nope, I got recipes. Hmm, those are helpful too. All right, I'm missing comments, so bear with me. Let me get back to my spot, my spot. Deer meat, yes. I don't soak it in milk overnight because mine is not gamey. Um, I process my own, so it uh, doesn't have a lot of fat on it. And um, so I don't, yeah, I don't soak mine in milk. I do know a lot of people do, um, but I'm also from Montana and we hunt in more in like 
uh, basically fields. I mean, like, well, duh, but we, we don't do a lot of mountain hunting. Um, it's more plains and it's not, it's, it's not gamey. I've had some that's gamey and I do not like it. And in that case, I'd probably soak it in milk or anything I could find to avoid it. But I don't have to worry about that. So I've got my ginormous knife cutting up. You can see my <laughs> I'm very good with a knife. Sure, whatever, huh? Um, but I'm cutting it into some decent, I don't know, maybe one inch. You might want more strips. I do more. I, sometimes I sleep. But uh, I try to... I try to be all over the place, Amy. What are you talking about? You're here with me here and you were with me last night or with me yesterday on the channel. Okay, so I'm, I'm just doing chunks. Um, chunks are my friends, they're easy. I don't have to work too hard at them. And then um, you can choose to do more strips depending on if you want it more like a um, uh, stir fry, something like that. Uh, Presentation probably should be a deal to me since I'm doing this in front of you. Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, mine are at school, Amy. So no munchkins here right now. But uh, yeah, so presentation probably should be something, but I don't, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Quote for the day, chunks are my friends. <laughs> oh, Anna, Anna, you would catch me. So strips. We'll do half and half. How's that? Half and half. Dump that in there. So I basically used a roast because I thought out the wrong thing. So I started with a roast and now I'm uh, cutting this up. Usually I have chunks that are thawed out and I'll use that um, instead of having to cut, 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 cut. But usually when I'm processing it, I do a lot of containers of chunks because I do a lot of stews. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world to eat, but I don't make a stew like my mom. Nobody ever does, right? <laughs> Bob, shh. Ask me how I get to work from home two days in a row. You will never know, because I'm spoiled. <laughs> Amy, what are you going to do with the rest of your day when Caden leaves? So what do you guys eat out on the road? Do you like beef stir fry? Is it something that you guys make? Um, you might even do it more in a skillet or a wok. Um, I am trying to do as many meals for you in a crock pot so that you can smell that deliciousness uh, while you are driving down the road. So this is all about trying to find easy meals, easy, quick meals for you guys while you're out on the road and still eating healthier. I say healthier because um, I guess it's all in whoever's opinion, right? Some people might not think that mine is as healthy as it could be, but it is healthier than some of the um, meals that you can get that are just... You know, lots of preservatives. So I don't use a ton of preservatives, obviously. I don't use things that have a lot of preservatives. I like to, to be more um, basic. You use a lot of whole foods and stuff like that. Um, but there are exceptions. Exception number one, sriracha. Yes, we're dumping that in. My kids will have to suffer through it, but it's happening. I want the kick. You're here for my entertainment, though, Bob. Oh, Amy, way to ruin the fun by yourself alone time, right? Cleaning, that's what she says. Corn chowder, oh, that's what we should do next. Corn chowder in the slow cooker. You know what I'm afraid of is that I'm going to get caught on camera cutting my finger. I don't have the peripheral I usually do with these glasses. Yeah, so do you like, would you rather this be more chicken? Um, do, would you rather, you rather the beef? Hey, did anybody um, at all have, oh, did anybody else make the taco meat that she had, that we made yesterday on our Facebook Live? 
because it was delicious. I was just saying earlier that it was kind of messy. I mean, one of those where you, you gotta have long sleeves so it catches all the juices dripping. Um, and I was worried that I didn't put enough water in it. I did, we're good. Chili, chili's good too. You got rainy days, is this a cold fall day for you guys or not? It is cold today here. We had plenty of, well, I shouldn't say plenty of snow, but we definitely had some snow on the ground when we woke up. Looks like it's pretty much gone. It's real wet, soppy all over outside. <laughs> so, Amy, we're making beef. Well, I am making, you can, I have beef. I'm making deer stir fry, uh, basically a beef broccoli, but my take on it. And it's really not just deer because after I get this all cut, hopefully not cutting my fingers, I'm gonna throw a little bacon in there because bacon is awesome and I want it to taste good. I wanna make sure that it tastes amazing. Hence the bacon. Ooh, tater tot casserole is one of my favorite too, Tanya. I love tots. Deliciousness. Do you make yours with, um, oh, what? Do you make it with cream of mushroom in your tater tot casserole, or what do you use as the, the base? Cream of something, right? That's what I always do. I made it one time without the soup. Not because I meant to. It's because I don't use a recipe, and sometimes when I throw things in, I forget. All right, I'm getting down to the nitty gritty here. Let's make sure my phalanges stay attached. All of them. Yep, yep, yep. Cream of chicken or cheese soup? Depends on my mood. I love it with cheese soup. Now I do usually use cream of mushroom, but I like it with cheese soup. Now we're talking about tater tot casserole, so yes, totally different. Um, you know what, I've never tried to make tater tot casserole in a, in a slow cooker. I bet you can do that, right? Anybody? Anybody have an opinion on that? Anybody tried it? Because that would be interesting. If you can make that, <laughs> if you can make that, that would be awesome. All right, we were talking about healthy uh, snacks yesterday. Anybody have any healthy snacks that they've got planned for today? Or do you not really plan your snacks? You just eat it. Titus, I am a mom. I'm a mama of two. Cornbread casserole. Have you tried that, Bob? That sounds really good. Next on Cooking with Tanya. Yeah, we're gonna try uh, casseroles next. That would be a good idea. All right, what was I doing? Um, bacon. Like I said, everything up. I love bacon. So. This one I didn't chew, this is a pig, clearly. Um, but we did just get this. This is the first time I think I bought a pig. They processed it and everything for me, kind of like that. Dried nuts and fruit, yes, you know, that's mine. And he loves some bacon too. How big of a chunk of bacon can we have in this? That's some decent size. Homegrown sweet corn. Yum. Amy, is that what you're using in your corn chowder? Do you have your own garden? I do not, because I suck at that. Delicious. Oh, look at that bacon, thick cut bacon. Yummy. Kind of a fan. Don't know about you guys. <laughs> So where are you going to be eating today? Bob, I know that you are in, I know you're in this time zone, but I don't know where you're at. How about everybody else? Well, I know some of you guys are in the Midwest, Tanya and Anna. I am out in mountain time, so it's 11 my time. I have plenty of time to get this ready for an evening meal. These are probably, 
My mom's kissing me with her authority. <laughs> Uh, moms will do that. Authorities and opinions. We have them all. So let's see here. We've got, check out the thickness of that bacon. How fantastic is that? Probably should cut it shorter, but I'm not. <laughs> Voyage through Wyoming. Well, I don't know what the wind is like um, in Wyoming right now. I'm assuming it's horrible. It usually is. Yeah, that's more what I do too, Amy. Organic corn, canned corn, it'll work. Leaving Cheyenne. Also, you just got into the Wyoming area. <laughs> I am in the middle of nowhere, Montana as well. Not, Mont not Missoula either. No. <laughs> no, just my apron. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got our crock pot all lined, ready to go. We have our, um, I put it on low because I've got all day. Um, whereas if depending on what time of the day you decided to start this process, you might want to uh, crank it up. So I'm going to put it on low. I have the rest of the day to do so. And like I said, throw a little sriracha on there to give it a little kick. Sound effects are free. Right, Anna? Man, that uh, separates or something. It looks weird. Yep, low six to eight hours, somewhere around there. Eyeball it. If it starts smelling like it's burnt, get worried. So about that much of this, <laughs> this is just sriracha hot, red hot. Have you guys made the red hot, um, what is it, red hot chicken dip? Oh, that's delicious. You should try that. Oh, I bet, you know what? It's on the back of some of these the recipe is but it's good good great grand wonderful yes Amy I agree if you do put it on low and it cooks slower uh, it tends to taste better you know it absorbs a little bit better and, and all that stuff all that good stuff okay this stuff gets a lot of use in my house I have no idea how to say it it's a marinade cooking sauce gourmet sweet and savory Yoshida's I don't want to ruin it. This is awesome. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, awesome. Uh, have you guys ever tried the um, short ribs? Short ribs Korean sauce? That's good. Yep, I'm just dumping. Because it's, you never, you want to have plenty of this. Should probably get a utensil, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, if you want to, if you want the recipe, I will be posting them. Um, but if you want the recipe, like Anna said, to be on the email list, you need to get a hold of us. Go to drivedecker.com. Well, if you apply, I can definitely give it, send it out to you. Buffalo chicken tamales. That does sound amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks amazing. So good. Yes, indeedy. All right. You're getting a look. See, let's see if I can do this without dumping it. Does that look amazing to you? Because that looks pretty amazing to me. It smells delicious too. It's not even cooked yet. It's not even plugged in. Seriously, who's in charge of this? I would have gone to eat it tonight and be like, WTF? What the fudge nugget? Yes, indeed. So if you want to get the recipe for this, we'll put it in the description afterwards. Um, you can also get a hold of a recruiter. If you have any questions on any of the positions that we have at Decker, which I recognize has nothing to do with what we're doing right now, 
but if you're out on the road, you want to stay out on the road, you, and you're looking for maybe something more regional, um, we've got that too. We do have a lot of options. So flatbed, refrigerated, van. I'm using my scissors because I didn't do enough. It's deer, of course. It is deer, except for the bacon. It's pork, pork, pork. Oh, I should show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I got, with all this noise that you're probably hearing, I cheat, so I don't have a home grill, but I buy these big bags of stir fry mix, or, um, or you can just do broccoli, but I like the stir fry. I like the different veggies as well. So I get that, uh, and then I pretty much dump it in here. I do let this cook on its own for a while first, uh, maybe a couple hours, and then throw this in. So. Bacon is life, and it does go with everything. Asparagus bacon, yes, especially with this stuff. What? Amazing! <laughs> Women belong in the kitchen. If they like to be, they should be. <laughs> All right. I didn't even use my darn scissors for, usually I cut my bacon with that, because it's easier. You think I'm gonna have enough bacon in here? One pack? I'm gonna go with that. And I've got plenty of room for um, all my veggies, my combo of veggies. So when you're done with this, like I said, about six to eight hours of slow cooking, it really is gonna depend on it, you know, what I've got it on low, but everybody's crock pot probably heats a little bit different. And I go by the smell a lot too, which is a good smell. <laughs> I'm a Costco shopper. That is actually Sam's. We don't have Costco in my town. But if we did, I would love that place. Try human meat. Oh, dear. I don't think I'd like that. Dear, I do. Okay. Um, also, speaking of Sam's, which is where I got to get these. Um, this is trying to stay healthier. I eat a lot of this because I think it's awesome. My kids... One of them loves it, one of them doesn't. My, my husband does like it, so there you go. I, I'd say the first word, but I don't know how to say it. Quinoa, quinoa, I don't do it. I don't have a Costco, no. I gotta go to Missoula or Helena or Billings for that. I told you I'm in no man's land. So, okay. So anyways, when you are done with this, this is done cooking, and you've added this, you're gonna want this in for a couple hours too. But, you know, I, I'd like the meat to saute or cook on its own for a while. Um, but then when you're done, when you are ready to eat, this can go in the microwave for 90 seconds, squeeze the bejeebers out of it, get it moving around first so it's not all clumped. It is so good. It really is. You don't even have to be good at cooking it. 90 seconds. 90 seconds in a microwave. So um, speaking of microwaves, speaking of cooking in your truck, then uh, if you don't have an APU, uh, you should probably have one. You'll need one. We have APUs and refrigerators in all of our trucks at Decker. And if you are interested in checking out some of those, you should check out our, our uh, video on the inside of our truck so you can kind of see the inside of it. Hey, the uh, video is on our channel. I think I, I posted it last week. It's equipment is what it's under. They have a 50 pound tub of gummy bears at Sam's. Oh my gosh. Gummies make, the, the idea makes me sick to my stomach. Just thinking like what a heavy blah, like feeling that's got to be. All of my kids think otherwise. They think that, that it's amazing. Queen. <laughs> oh, okay, Anna, Anna gave me some pronunciation here. Quinoa. That neither of these are correct. Really? Quinoa. That's what it is. Oh, you're so smart. Look at that. You bring in some knowledge to the table. They have these at Costco, Amy? Oh, onions and garlic. 
Um, the, so this has garlic in it. Um, this does not. This does as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is basically soy sauce uh, with some sugar and syrup in it. And garlic. does have garlic. I put a lot of garlic in things as well. So should we use dry garlic or should we use minced? Let's see how deep the minced is in the refrigerator. Will it take a while to dig out or will it be easy peasy? Where is that? There it is. Pickled eggs, gross, but some people like it. I guess that's cool. I guess. All right. Minced it is. Look at that. Making decisions all on our own. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So about that much? Sure, looks good. I'm gonna go with a tablespoon and a half. Do you think that's what that was? Sure. Let's say yes. So beef and broccoli has now turned into more of a stir fry in a crock pot. Um, that kind of stuff might happen with me. Oh, he eats these on our own? No way, Amy. That's cool. Yes, Anna's always dropping facts. <laughs> I don't know. I joke, Amy, because um, my mother-in-law would probably die. Well, she's, she likes precise measurements. And she, she's a very good cook. My mom is a very good cook. My mom throws things in. And I assume that since my mom can throw things in that I can too and it's going to be just as good. You know what assuming does though, right? Yeah, me neither. I don't know. I don't know. Amy, I'm drinking out of a Grizz cup. What cup would you be drinking out of? Hmm? Hmm? It's football season, people. I'm not talking about last week though. Ugh. <laughs> so, there you go. You are going to have beef, broccoli-ish, stir-fry-ish deliciousness, most definitely. Let's get this mess out of our way. Take a look at what we've got going on here at Decker right now. Your Bama cup. <laughs> All right, let's wash some of this deer off, deer and pork off my hands. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So this is what we've got going on here. A little bit of slow cooker, crock pot, beef and broccoli. Awesomeness. That's how we talk about it. Right? And my sriracha. Slam and sriracha, not just sriracha. Slam and sriracha. Yes, that's good. Amy says she's in Grizz gear. Mm hmm. And Decker gear in her closet. That's a good lady. I like it. Chief's mug, Miss Anna. Kansas City. Mm hmm. They'd be proud. All right, what else am I missing? That's it, now you just sit and wait. Wait patiently. So while we wait, what do we wanna talk about? We're not waiting the whole eight hours. I'm not that patient. So um, yesterday's meal was our taco. Um, taco in a bag for some if you wanted to choose that, but it, it was our, our little tacos. And it was delicious. It had ranch, a taco seasoning, and um, dry ranch seasoning, by the way. Um, taco, chicken, I use canned chicken. And Nathan thinks that I was crazy to use canned chicken, but it really is pretty good. It took me a long time. So I bought the chicken thinking, oh, you know, like, that, that sounds easy. You know, make life a little bit easy. There you go. Bob's with the chief too, Anna. So 
uh, yeah, I thought, okay, so that's going to be easy. You know, a little check, chicken breast in the, in the crock pot with canned chicken. Yeah, don't have to cut it up. Don't have to cook it, all that good stuff. But then I bought it thinking, okay, I couldn't get the nerve to actually try it. It's really not that bad. Alone, yeah, it's not the best. You know, like I, I wouldn't eat it on like a um, sandwich or anything like that. But um, yeah, cooked when, you know, if you're recooking it, putting it into something, it's pretty good. Yep, yep, yep. Same thing, I did the same thing with salmon. Have you guys tried canned salmon? That sounds scary, doesn't it? I think I waited like a year before I actually tried it. And it was really good, I use it on my salads. Um, I do salads with uh, pumpkin seeds. So the, you know, like just raw pumpkin seeds. And they, oh, somebody's at the door. I'm not answering it. Um, so raw pumpkin seeds and it is delicious as well. So if you haven't tried that. All right, so we've got, what else? Still at the door. Um, Let's talk about some of the different opportunities that we have. So I know that Bob is headed through the Wyoming area. And for all of those who are also in the Wyoming area, we have uh, Over the Road Refrigerated, which runs out of our Missoula, Montana terminal. And you're out about 14 to 17 days, give or take, and then home for two to three days. And the pay is all based off of experience. So there is 10 cents per diem in the pay. But if you have, you know, anywhere from, well, if you have any experience at all, you'd be starting at uh, 40 to 48 cents a mile loaded and empty. Cool thing is that after 90 days, you do get a penny per mile raise. So we're already getting the penny raise and every year on your anniversary. Amy, mine is not coffee. I don't drink coffee because me on caffeine sounds scary. I'm hyper as it is. So mine is just water with lemon, I got lemon in it. Oh, sinus infection, there's a lot of people that are sick right now. Make sure you're getting your vitamins, getting some vitamin C, your oranges, your, what did we talk about yesterday? Um, what are these called, cuties? The cuties, or there's another name for them. I can't remember what it is. It's the kids, halos, that's what it is, ha <laughs> halos. Mmm, yep. So no mug, just iced tea in a mason jar. I do love iced tea, just plain iced tea though. I hate fish, it doesn't taste anything like fresh. Well, I haven't had a lot of fresh fish, so that's probably why I don't, my taste buds are okay with it. But the salmon does work pretty well. And I, it's not like I don't douse it up with plenty of stuff. All right, see you later, Amy. Take care, take care. So yes, vitamin C for all of you who are fighting illnesses. This halo is kicking my butt. Aha, peeled it. I knew I was gonna win that battle eventually. So get your vitamin C, get, make sure that you're getting plenty of rest. This is turning into a, <laughs> into medical advice. I am not a doctor. Nor do I play one on TV or YouTube or anywhere else. <laughs> right? Sure. Sure, sure. Let's throw all this away. We don't need this hanging out in no man's land. Think I can walk over here without hurting myself? No promises. All right. This cord is to my microphone. It is a long cord. All right, so tell us, tell us, tell us, what do you guys do to stay healthy while out on the road? Can I eat in front of you guys? I'm cool with that. You guys cool with that? I'm cool with that, thanks. I was drinking, I might as well, might drinking my water. Mm -hmm. I still have sticky hands from the... Okay, so eating out on the road. So we're talking about what kind of snacks. Whole foods are gonna have the right kind of vitamins. 
and um, keep you healthier. So get yourself some halos. We all want to be haloed, right? There we go. Now my hands aren't so sticky for a minute until I start eating some more, right? Okay, so we talked about our over the road refrigerated out of Missoula. Uh, if it's speaking of Missoula, now weather is all right right now, but for those of you who are traveling the area, it is supposed to be rainy and start getting into the snowy season. Definitely snow tire season or snow tire. Yeah, snow tire season, but chain season as well. September 1st, getting of, of tire or chains. And what is it? October 9th. So yeah, you're good into it. If you don't know how to chain, we are going to put together a video for you so you know how to. Otherwise, get with somebody that can teach you or find someone who's really good and does it for you. That'll work, right? <laughs> so we're gonna try and keep some of these meals for you on a regular basis so that you've got um, more options. We're gonna put together uh, some recipes for you so that you can have your hands on it and just easy access to easy quick quick cleanup quick all of all together for um over the road driving or be just being out on the road and and having some good meals <laughs> you were a first responder for 15 years so bobby don't do that anymore did you do that when you were um uh, like at the tracks and stuff like that because you announce racing right or like stock cars right yay no yep not a first responder um but i'm a mom does that matter moms have to fix owies all the time and tell you oh just go to the bathroom <laughs> mom's teachers teachers that's a teacher's answer do you have to go to the bathroom? No. All right, what are we talking about? We're supposed to be cooking here. All right, what else do I have for you? Um, other options. Hey, also out here in the West, did you guys know that we have flatbed? Because we haven't had it for out here in the West for quite some time. We've opened up a lot of opportunities for you guys. I'm not sure if we can do it in Wyoming. If, if you are out in the West and you are interested in flatbed and wanna know, then give us a call, 888-668-0698. And if we don't know your specific area, we will find out. We'll talk to operations. Like I said, it's been expanding like crazy. So all of Washington, Oregon, um, along California along I-5, anywhere from uh, basically Ontario to up to Oregon, you're good. So that's all within the hiring area for the flatbed that's based out of Bessemer, Alabama. So if you're looking for it, you let us know. So, oh, there you go, Bob. Okay, I could see it. I was able to read part of it, but not all of it. Hiccups. Um, so that's the other thing. For those of you who do chain or don't know how to chain and the chain laws up, if if you're putting on chains, you're getting yourself out of trouble. Chains are not supposed to be used to go down the road a long distance, to go at high speeds. They are used to get out of trouble. So don't get yourself into it. That's what they're for. Heck out the YouTube. <laughs> I just joke it out. I love it. Check it out. Check, check, check. Um, what else? Yes, the Northwestern states, they have it. Thanks, Anna. September 1st. So make sure that you are aware of how to properly use or how to properly put on chains. That's going to be important um, for your safety and everything. Local volunteer. Yep. Uh, Nathan does that too. Nathan's here um, at the well, he, he recruiter out of Fort Dodge as well. Busy man. Bob, man of many hats. So other options. So the flatbed that we were talking about, that's out of Bessemer. Um, but you can get a hold of any of the recruiters. 888-668-0698. Mom's lives matter, new group. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, very 
very good. All right, so we're waiting 68 hours for in the crock pot for our broccoli and beef stir fry stuff. Um, this is basically what we used. This is taking the place for those of you who have more ingredients and want to dump more ingredients into it. That's totally cool. We were, I was trying to make it easier for you so that you had fewer things to haul, you know, fewer things to, to clean up because who likes to clean up? Not me, not me. Um, but this is going to take the place of your low sodium, low sodium, because a lot of you guys out on the road, you have, you're, you've got high blood pressure, your sodium levels are, um, so low sodium soy sauce, um, also, uh, beef broth and low sodium. And what else? Um, brown rice or brown rice, uh, brown sugar. I can't read my paper printed off. Can I see it? My paper printed off with like gaps in between every letter. Uh, like, well, the gaps, but it didn't print off well. Only every other letter is what I'm trying to say. Um, what else? And then you can also put sesame seeds on it afterwards for the effect. Yep. But that's what this does. Takes the place of sodium uh, or soy sauce, uh, brown rice, brown sugar, and beef stock. So I didn't put any beef stock in it. I don't know if I'm really going to need any though uh, because of the amount that I put in of that Yoshida's, Yoshada's, whatever his name is. Whatever the name is. Yeah, I'm not gonna put it in because I put too much. I put a lot of this in and it's pretty, pretty juicy. Yep. And that looks good. Look at that bacon. Oh, delicious. Good stuff. But yeah, we have other options besides the over-the-road refrigerated and the over-the-road flatbed. Um, but out here in the West, those are the two options you're looking at. So if you don't call a recruiter at 888-668-0698, then apply online, drivedecker.com. Um, also at drivedecker.com, I'll have all of the recipes that we've been making um the last two days and <laughs> and add to that as we go along so we'll continue to add recipes for you out on the road um, making it easy and uh, giving you options for dinner healthier options for dinner see a man of many hats bob i knew it track announcer truck driver father firefighter retired firefighter there you go uh, if you're in the midwest Yes, it is my favorite. <laughs> what are you talking about, Anna? I'm sure I'm pronouncing it correct. Yep, I'm not sure. Sriracha, but the... Sirocha? Nuh-uh. Is it really? That's crazy. I had no idea. So this is not called sriracha. It's called sirocha. No way. I think they spelled it wrong on here. Nope, they didn't. <laughs> ah, didn't know that. Again, learning something every day. <laughs> I can't tell if, are you for real? You're, you're fooling me. This is considered, on a mild to hot scale, there's sweet chili, kick and barbecue, buffalo, original, slam and sriracha, sirocha, hot buffalo, and extra hot. So this is like mid to hot. If I was, if this was a meat, I would call it medium rare. The hotter the better, medium rare the better. Sure, let's go with it. Let's go with it. What else? So, you guys are eating, oh, that's what we're gonna eat, uh, tater tot casserole there in the Midwest, huh? Out of the Fort Dodge area, that's what they're having. 
we've got over the road refrigerated out of the West. We've got over the road flatbed. We've got Midwest refrigerated and Midwest flatbed out of the Midwest. Surprise. Just joking. We've got a van as well. Um, up and down the Midwest is pretty much where the refrigerated is running. Uh, for the flatbed, it's really more of a confined area. A lot of the, uh, basically a lot of uh, Illinois, Indiana, uh, maybe to Kansas City, back to Ohio, um, south or southern Michigan, southern Wisconsin, and as far as, as St. Louis, basically, is what my flatbed runs. So that's the Midwest flatbed, and it gets you home usually on a weekly basis. It also, um, huh, I'm having, don't you love it when they, your computer has updates in the middle of everything? Goodbye. Um, yeah, so that one gets you home basically on a weekly basis. And in a lot of areas, especially the Iowa area, you can not only get home on a weekly basis, but it's also guaranteed pay. So super cool for all of you who are interested in the guaranteed pay Obviously, if you make more, if you were to make more money um, getting the pay per mile than you would on the guaranteed pay for the week, then you would make the better of the two. We would switch it over into mileage pay instead of the uh, $13.50 for flatbed or 1250 for refrigerated. So refrigerated, we've got that option too out of the Midwest. So you're looking at a um, little bit long, bigger area. You know, you could be anywhere from southern Minnesota down to Texas and Oklahoma, um, everything in between, out towards, um, well, out, out towards Maryland, I guess, uh, Laurel, Maryland area, down to Georgia. Probably stay more in the Midwest if you're getting home on a weekly basis, but uh, that is a possibility as well. So that one pays twelve fifty, uh, or anywhere from forty three to fifty cents a mile, where the flatbed is thirteen fifty, or uh, fifty, or excuse me. Um, 45 to 52 cents a mile for experienced drivers. We also have student opportunities, you guys, for those of you who are new to the industry and are wondering how to get into it and how to get some experience. The training pay is $500 a week, but once you get out of the training, which is usually about three to five weeks with the trainer, then you will get mileage pay and it's anywhere from, um, well, if you're doing the Midwest flatbed, you're looking at 42 cents a mile and working your way to 45 cents a mile. If you are in the Midwest refrigerated, you're starting off at um, 39 cents a mile and working your way to 42 cents a mile. Right? Say that right? 43 cents a mile, working your way to 43. If you're in the over the road refrigerated out of Missoula, Montana, and you're looking for, if you're looking to be a student or get some training, Still $500 a week um, as you're with a trainer, still three to five weeks with a trainer, depending on how you do. But the um, pay as a student on your own, like driving out on the road, that's gonna be anywhere from 37, working your way up to uh, 40 cents a mile on that one. It's time to duel. <laughs> to duel, what kind of duels? Um, yeah. The vast majority of people believe bacon is bad. <laughs> Anna, I like that. The vast majority of people believe that bacon is pronounced bacon, but the proper pronunciation is actually mine. <laughs> the bacon is all mine. <laughs> uh, yes, I win is actually mine. I'm pretty sure I will be eating it. <laughs> Like it. Oh, and we put it all on, did we say it? Quinoa. Did I say it right, Anna? Quinoa. <laughs> Anna's the clever one, can you tell? This is a good stuff. This is what I put it on after, um, after it's all done cooking. So, deliciousness. Yes, yes, yes. Yay, I said it right. Goodness from the ground up. That's what it says. Organic. Hmm. Water, whole grain brown rice, whole grain quinoa, sunflower oil, sea salt, garlic powder, tapioca starch. That's the one that you don't want. You know, like everything else is looking really good and then you're like, ah, starch. Dried garlic, onion powder, soy, lectin, 
parsley, spice, asterisk by organic. Organic whole grain quinoa grown in Bolivia. It's pretty good. 90 minutes or 90 minutes, 90 seconds in the microwave. Just tear off the top, squeeze the bejeebers out of it, get it moving. Make sure there it's not all plumped or hard in the center here. This one has 40 or 40, 400 milligrams of sodium. Now, I got, you guys need to watch your sodium probably. 120 milligrams. This is the important part. This is this one, 460. But there's alternatives. You've got low soy, low soy, um, low soy, low sodium um, soy sauce that you can do. But the other option, is it tamari? Is that how you say this? Hey, how do you pronounce this, Miss Anna? Can you see that? Tamari. Okay, so reduced sodium. So this is suggested by Dr. Hyman. Um, he's a doctor, <laughs> as seen and <laughs> played on TV. And uh, yes, so he, uh, he suggests that. He's got several cookbooks out there, actually, that he, used, that he suggests what to eat, what not to eat. Smart man. All right, so um, yeah, that's, those are our meals. What else do we have for you guys? Uh, van, I kind of started talking about our van opportunities as well. And if you live in Greenville, South Carolina, and Anderson, South Carolina, uh, we've got some van opportunities for you. But if you are only looking uh, for Midwest running along I-80, we've got van for you as well. An aged soy sauce prepared with little or no added wheat. That's what the de definition of this is, Tamari. Highly suggested, gluten-free. And what does it say? It does say um, 710 milligrams of sodium. And it's reduced sodium. Goodness gracious, that's reduced. That sounds rough. My mint garlic has zero. We win with that one. Tamari with that. What did I, I already read that one. Oh, I think we're pretty good with this. Does this even have it on here? I'm pretty sure they don't put any of that in here. Sodium, 15 milligrams. We're safe. Protein, two. Calories, 35. You can eat like 20, 20 hundred of those. 20 hundred. You know what I'm talking about. Um, these liners that I have, these are slow cook li liners. I don't know. I'm sure there's others that are out there. Reynolds is what I have. And then they give you recipes. Who doesn't love that? See, this is what I was going to make the other day. This is what I was going to make today. Uh, roast. Can you see that? Roast. Carrots and potatoes. But then I decided, no, we're going for stir fry broccoli. Beef and broccoli. What do we have here? We've got glazed cinnamon apples. <gasps> oh, Miss Anna, this sounds like your apple crisp. Mm-hmm. Sweet and sour meatballs. Oh my goodness, you guys. That sounds super good. Can we make those easily? Slow cook pot roast. That's what I was gonna make. Okay. Red and white chili. Uh, who had chili last night? Was that Anna? Somebody told me they did. Chunky beef vegetable soup. Mm, that looks like a stew to me and a delicious one at that. I love things that send recipes with it, right? Got recipes on that. Do we have recipes on our sriracha? Honey lime sriracha wings, we do. So there you go, cheat, cheat, cheat. <laughs> yes, you do need to call a recruiter and get the email to that. Or you can go to drivedecker.com on our blog, we will have, um, not yet, I will have that. Um, I will have the recipes for you on our blog um, by tomorrow. And you can also apply 
on our website, drivedecker.com. Click apply now. Apply now, that'll get you the application for your refrigerated, your flatbed, your van, whether you're looking for local, dedicated, um, over the road, regional, there are options. Check it out. So very cool. Anybody have any questions on what we've got available here at Decker or what we used in all of our good food? Philly cheesesteak sandwiches in the crock pot. Really, Bob? Hmm. I'm going to try that. That sounds very good. You need to have something in there that um, you can use for multiple things, right? So um, cheesesteak sandwiches, you can eat those for several days. Uh, and, oh, here's, I think this is what you were talking about, Miss Anna, for uh, fitting in your little freezers. So in our trucks, we've got refrigerators with the freezer on top. We have um, APUs. So you can hook up your microwave, microwave, and then you can also hook up your crock pot to that. Um, so depending, of course, on the wattage of both. So this is uh, about the size that you can get in. I think you can get two of these in um, the freezer area. A couple of these. So these are ones that, that will fit. Um, so you can get put leftovers in those. Yep, yep. Put a lid on them. Make sure they survive and then um, in the refrigerator uh, the, they're pretty decent size so I'll put the video if you look on our YouTube channel here the video is linked as well let me see if I can get that and I'll actually just put that in there for you right now let's investigate um, let's see what we'll do is we'll get a video for you in the inside of the truck so you can see what we've got um, whoops, of oh, truck. What do we got here? Oh, truck interior. I'm trying to get into my website here. It's a little slow. So it happens when you're not cl clicked onto the internet here. I'm going Wi-Fi with my computer. It's just not used to it. Sound effects. Free. For free. There you go. That's the interior. Um, I should probably note that. I'll read it. Truck interior. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> la, la, la. If you like, you can put a lid on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the beat. <laughs> so fantastic. Yes, indeedy. All right. If you are excited, because I'm excited to eat this, because I'm eating it. <laughs> Give us a good thumbs up. Let us know that you'd like more of these crock pot meals or meals for on the road drivers. Uh, let us know that that's what you want. Um, if it's not, and you're looking for information on anything else, whether how to's for um, chaining, for uh, starting the APUs, doing, you know, pretty much doing anything like that, let us know what it is that you're looking for so that we can provide that to you all about trying to help you out, making it as easy as possible for you out on the road. I'm going to have to try the whole crock pot Philly steak, the corn chowder. Uh, there are a couple in there that sounded delicious. Oh man, that sounds good. See what, okay. So here's the one thing though. I don't want, like, I don't like to cook it before I put it in the crock pot. That seems like a lot of work. <laughs> But you must just do that when you're at home, Bob, to fry it all up before you put it in the crock pot, or do you actually fry it up on the road? You get your grill out. A lot of you guys are traveling with grills. 
Um, I may risk trying to grill some food for you guys, see if I survive and can, can do that. Uh, otherwise, we'll stick with the crock pot. But you've got, you've got options, you know, with the APU unit, with um, some of the options that for traveling um, and your traveling kitchens, you've got um, George Foreman, someone used that as a suggestion yesterday, um, your crock pot your uh skillet you've got the what are those like like heat pad skillets or heat i don't remember what they're called um you've got your grill so there's definitely options for you out there you don't always have to eat out which is going to be more expensive um so yeah it's trying to save you a little bit of money it, i know that it's hard when you're out on the road to uh, to watch your funds. There you go. Right. So again, if you want this, these recipes, um, get a hold of us. You can hop online, go to our blog, drivedecker.com. We'll get you there, drivedecker.com slash blog. If you are interested in working for Decker and um, for whether it's over the road, local, regional, um, dedicated, then you can apply online as well at drivedecker.com. And as always, get a hold of one of our recruiters at 888-668-0698. So you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Yes, Tana, you have a great date as well. You guys have an awesome rest of your day. And we will see you next Monday. We're going to talk about finances. And since we're trying to save a little bit of money with the food, cooking food out on the road. We'll also talk about some finances and other ways to save. So watch us on our Facebook channel. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up, and share if this is a meal that you're uh, planning on making. Let us know. And then of course on our Facebook, uh, make sure that you follow us on Facebook so that you will be notified for any of our live events. Right, Bob? Okie doke. You guys have an awesome rest of your week. It is Tuesday. We'll see you back on Monday. And um, again, you can get a hold of any of the recruiters at 888-668-0698. Take care, you guys. Maybe.